My Young and the Restless fans, hopefully you're having a wonderful weekend. We got more drama in Genoa City and a new week of drama at that. I'm going to give you a few highlights and then we'll unpack this upcoming week spoilers. First, we see Lily being backed into a corner. Nikki try to strike a deal with Jordan. And then we see Ashley's newest altar emerges. So without any further ado, let's unpack these spoilers for the young and the restless in this upcoming at the end of the week. Also beginning of May sweeps the week of April 22nd through April 26th. We now move into Magnificent Monday, April 22nd, as Victor and Jack unearth a crucial clue regarding Harrison's kidnapping. Yes, it looks like Jordan has an accomplice. And yeah, Victor is ready to pay this man handsomely to get details about how they can find Harrison. He tried to wiggle his way out of it, acting like he didn't know anything and that his vehicle was stolen. But yeah, with money... Money will make you talk, and Victor got lots of it, and now it look like he is about to crack at the seams. Also on Monday, Billy is trying to rebuild a connection with Lily. Sneaky, 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 trying to be a little slickster. He's trying to see if maybe he can still have a job and stay on the board over at Chancellor Winters. Lily was like, yeah, I hear you, but I don't hear you. And if it's in my opinion, I don't even think you should be on the board. Yeah, it's going to get interesting because we also got to talk about this next spoiler where Devon, back over at Chancellor Winters, make a bold move on his own as well. And what is that move? He now wants to put Nate on the board and they got a vote on it and it is split down the middle which leaves none other than Lily backed into a corner. Which now takes us into Terrific Taco Tuesday, April 23rd, as Victor takes decisive actions into his own hands. Now, we got to talk about something else that's going on in these Monday and Tuesday episodes because it looks like people are creating plans all on their own. At first, like I said, Victor decides to have his own decisions when trying to deal with Jordan. Well, just wait because somebody else got something in mind as well. Also on Tuesday, back over at Chancellor Winters, remember I said in the Monday's episode, Lily's back in the corner. She has the deciding vote on Nate. Well, I forgot to mention to you guys that she didn't even know that Nate was up for discussion. So she's kind of blindsided. And of course, it's about to get out of hand, which we'll see on Tuesday as Jill tried to do damage control with her team. I mean, we got Billy talking out the side of his neck. Devon decided to try to put Nate on the board without anybody knowing about it. Jill don't want him on the board, and Lily got to make a decision. And I don't know if she actually agrees with having Nate being given a board seat. So yeah, messy, messy, messy over at Chancellor Winters. Let's see, since Jill is the face of the company, what is her next moves? Rounding up our Tuesday episode. Yeah, remember I said earlier how Victor is taking action and somebody else is taking action? Yeah, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. And I'm telling you, Monday's episode, pay attention because she's going to go off on Victoria. Why? Because she's a little tipsy. And she has a plan that she actually wants to give herself up as bait to catch Jordan. So now she has a separate plan that Victor doesn't even know about it. Well, look like Victoria is going to actually aid Nikki into making this decision. Why, why, why? Everybody is just going on their own way, which is why Jordan has obviously been able to escape each and every time. So yeah, we'll see if this actually works. We now move into Hump Day Wednesday, April 24th, and also my birthday. Nikki negotiates a deal with Jordan. It looks like in that same alley where, remember, Jordan had a whole bunch of disguises and a gas container. Well, we're back in that alley, it seems, and she's going to try to negotiate a deal with Jordan. 
Again, the question remains, is it going to work? It hasn't worked so far with Nikki's decisions. We'll see what happens next in this situation. Also on Wednesday, Kyle stumbles upon a shocking revelation. I'm wondering what did he find out? Is it new news on Claire? We've heard everything about trying to find Jordan and we know where Summer stands when it comes to Claire. So I'm wondering what this shocking revelation could be and hopefully it's clues that I'm closer to finding Harrison. So we got to stay tuned. And rounding up our Wednesday episode, guess what we get? We get a new altar, a third altar from Ashley. And if you saw the Friday preview, she got a little country swing in her conversation. So yeah, she's ordering a drink and look like we see a new emerging altar. Which now takes us to terrific Friday Eve, Thursday, April 25th, as Victor unveils a fresh new strategy against Jordan. Now, I'm presuming that Victor don't know that his wife went rogue again. So I'm interested to find out what strategy he now have and will it work and whether or not the strategy that Nikki has actually interferes. So we got to stay tuned. Also on Thursday, Victoria and Cole have a little reminisce session about their shared history so you know these two go way back their daughter is now back and they've even been sharing a little bit of kissy face with each other too and i think victoria liked it so it looked like they're slowly trying to put these two together so yeah with the kiss and now they're reminiscing it's probably going to bring them even more closer together Rounding up our Thursday episode, Jack receives unsettling news. Now, it could be one of two things. It could be information about Claire and Harrison, or it could be about this emerging new altar from his sister, Ashley. So, yeah, there is a lot going on in the Abbott house, and we can't forget about there's a little bit of tiff going on between his son and his wife. So, yeah, drama, 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 and he's also dealing with Nikki as her sponsor. So, yeah, we got to see which one of these things could be the unsettling news. And finally, it takes us into TGIF on Tabulous Friday, April 26, as Tracy encounters Ashley's latest altar i know it's going to be interesting for tracy she has been trying to help ashley through all of this and now to confront or encounter another altar yeah it's definitely going to be something for tracy to deal with but tracy yeah she's level-headed so i can see her actually navigating her through this altar so we got to stay tuned also on friday audra makes a commitment to tucker now we know one of the commitments that she's not making right now is marriage so is it just to stick by his side and maybe continue to build glissade? Yeah, that's still going on, at least I think. But look like she's going to stand 10 toes down with Tucker. So we'll see how long that lasts. And rounding up our Friday cliffhanger episode, Devon maintains a step ahead of none other than Billy Abbott. You know, Billy has been making moves. He left Jabot because he know he hit the ceiling over there and can get no higher than Jack. So we all know one of the biggest reasons for coming over to Chancellor Winters is as soon as his mom is probably retired, he wants that seat as CEO of Chancellor. The question is, is, is he going to be able to get it? And we know he's been going back and forth with Devon even before Lily came back. And now to run Lily in the mix, she's back in that CEO seat. There is a pending lawsuit hanging over her head. So, yeah, we know that Billy sees blood in the water. So, definitely Devon is going to have to keep an eye out. So, we're going to have to not only keep an eye out on this, but everything else going on in The Young and the Restless for the week of April 22nd through April 26th. Okay, so there you have it. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about this whole thing with Lily being backed in the corner? You'll see that on Monday's episode that it looked like people are having sidebar conversations, but not as a team. And then, of course, Lily is backed in the corner 
with the deciding decision on putting Nate on the board. Nikki striking a deal with Jordan. Yeah, she's going off on her own rogue. Victor got his own plan with Jack. I'm wondering if these two plans are going to work. Are they going to collide and Jordan get away again? And then Ashley's newest altar emerges. And we saw her altar on the Friday preview. I got to give a shout out to Eileen Davidson. She is rocking this storyline. So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you check out the bold and the beautiful spoilers also for this week. It looks like the full story of Sugar has now been given over with a deacon and oh yeah he's on a mission to get clues to find the situation with sugar and sheila then we also have the fallout with rj zenday and luna and look like brook and bridge are going to be there to support rj as well and then we also have the a little bit of r and r and romance with steffi and finn make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted and until the next one we'll see you all soon bye guys